Hey, what's up everybody? It's Boogie. Uh, this video that you guys are going to be watching today is going to be me showing off my tool bag. So everything in my tool bag, I'm going to give you a tour of it, show you everything that I have and uh, a little bit of my hardware that I have also. So uh, yeah, I'm going to just jump right into it. So. Um, first off, I have my speed square. So the speed square actually has a lot of functions. Uh, you can use it, it, it even says on here like common. You can use it for rafters. It gives you like, the t like it determines the uh, different angles that you need to cut the wood at. Uh, also, you can use it as a uh, straight surface. You uh, plumb this, like you put this up against the piece of wood and you can cut straight line with the circular saw if you need to. It works as a, um, like as a fence so um that's one of the reasons why i got the large one so i could use it as a fence for my circular saw for longer pieces of wood uh so i have a monkey wrench i'm not sure the right term for this but i call it a monkey wrench that's what i hear other people call it so that's what i call it is a monkey wrench and um this is just uh uh, I, I actually never use it. I just keep it uh, for um, just to have it in a bag, just in case. Like it's a just in case tool, I guess. And uh, I have a, a level. So I never really use this level for any other angles or any of that. Um, any other angles or anything, I don't really find a use for. Like I, I, I've never really uh, had to deal with angles with uh, leveling. But um, the, the one that I mainly use is the one that you just sit flat onto a surface and you just measure if it's level or not. And uh, this level itself is uh, magnetic, so it can stick to surfaces. Um, I've heard people say that it could even stick to studs. So through the wall, I guess, if you put it up against the wall, it could stick to a surface. I don't think that's that uh that it works i haven't tried it myself but that seems a little uh a little out there for it to work like that um i have my dewalt uh, uh straight edge is it straight edge razor it's my razor so um this was cheap i got it for ten dollars um is it comes with extra blades inside i think like five extra blades and uh, yeah, it's Dewalt. So uh, my theme in my tool bag is uh, basically uh, um, consists of Dewalt. So everything I have mainly is Dewalt. If I can't find the Dewalt, I'll just settle for something else. But usually I just go for the Dewalt um, just to keep my collection themed, I guess. There's, no really, there's not really any other purpose uh, of me doing that, so. Uh, I have this cat's claw or a cat's paw. So uh, I'm not sure if it's the right name for it. Uh, I know it's called, uh, some people call it bear claw or cat's paw, um, denailer. You know, it's just a denail, uh, like you could, you could uh, hook it, hook the nails that you might've uh, bent or um, hammered in wrong. You just pull it right out with this, it's a uh, cat's paw. Also Dewalt, also Dewalt. So something a little more boring, I have a measuring tape. Uh, it's a, also Dewalt, but um, the one that I was going for, they didn't have at the spot that I was trying to get it at. The one I wanted to get was the one with all the different measurements on the, the increments, like uh, 18th of an inch, half an inch, you know, like quarter of an inch. I had each each little uh, notch on the measuring tape had a number on it signifying the measurement of it. These got like, you know, basic one inch measurements. I mean, it has the 16 inch stud, stud measurement. So, I mean, it's basic, it's boring. So that's what I have, a Dewalt 25 foot measuring tape. 25 foot is good enough for the work that I'm doing. So um, I'm hoping to be uh, starting up with framing. Um, not a, yeah, framing, I guess. This is just a, a old bit set. I keep it with me. I think it's magnetic. I'm not sure, but.
But um, it's an old bit set that I used to use. So I have this. Also Dewalt, my Dewalt uh, bit set. So the most useful item in this bit set is this. This is the adapter, uh, the, the screw bit adapter. So you take the adapter, you put in the screw bit. I'll show you an example. And uh, you know, it, 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 uh, it's, I, I believe, yeah, it's magnetic. So you put the screw onto it, it'll stick there. You uh, pull this out for extra support. For when you screw in the screw, it'll hold it straight. Um, it's real useful. Some people uh, uh, mention that the more upgraded version, because this is actually pretty old, I guess, for the standard. Um, there's other newer ones that have uh, that are also Dewalt that have a clear carrying case, so the case is clear, so you can see inside the box for whatever tool that you might want to get. Uh, if you're rushing or anything like that, you might want to uh, be able to see inside the box instead of opening it up and trying to look for each individual tool. So uh, the this adapter is actually smaller in uh, the newer the newer uh, bit set. It's smaller, but it works as the same function. It's magnetic and it holds the screw in place for you to screw it in. There's chalk line. Chalk line, just basic chalk line. And I have the chalk. Also D wall. So this is just a random buy. It's actually uh spade bits. They go from three eighths of an inch up to one inch. And it's also D wall. But um the reason I got these was because uh I seen um some craft or like wood crafting videos online and it shows like um boring through holes like boring holes uh there's other ways of doing it i figure this is the easiest way i could have done it for the amount of tools that i have i don't have every tool you know i have a like a minimal minimal amount of tools i have some hand tools which i'm showing you now but my power tools is uh, uh, a little more scarce <laughs> i don't have that many power tools um but the spade bits I was looking into was uh, the one inch. So the one inch spade bits, I have these uh, dowels. I have these wooden dowels and uh, they're one inch wide. So the spade bit, if I were to bore a hole one inch, uh, I could find use for these one inch dowels. I have maybe about a dozen of them. So I have about a dozen dowels that I have nothing to do with. So those one inch bores i can probably make something uh useful out of it if i try and i have this hammer this is the last item i have a hammer this is a cheap hammer i think i got it for like five bucks uh it's not used for carpentry or framing or anything like that but um i think it'll hold up i think inside i'm not sure it feels like it's metal but it could be plastic i don't know it feels hard so last off i have I uh, have my Husky bag. This is not that much either, but um, I got it's an electrical Husky bag. It's not really for framing, but I like the, all the all the pockets that it has. It has pockets in the back, you know, for screws if you want to put screws in here, and a hammer in the back. It's got all these little pockets. Yeah, so it also has the harness. So I have the harness that you can put on your shoulders and you clip it in, clip the belt in and you got it all, you know. So next off I have uh, the power drills. So I have um, the keyless chuck. So the chuck opens up if you spin it. You can do it without pushing the trigger, which you can just uh, twist the twist the chuck and it'll uh, tighten and loosen the bit that you want. And um, it's got a light on it, so you can light the dark areas. The battery is uh, the smallest battery you could get. It lasts a few hours, but um, 
for the work that I'm doing, I don't think uh, I need more than that. If I needed more than that, I got extra batteries, extra small batteries like this that I could just pull out and put in to the drill. And, um, you know, this is, uh, it has different levels. It has uh, two, two different um, levels that it could get put at. So it has one and two. So uh, two is actually stronger than one. I think it's uh, used for um, drill bits, for drill bits to drill into the wood. Uh, one I think is more for screws or vice versa, I'm not sure. Um, then it has the, the 15 levels that you can also change for the strength of how deep you can push in the screw. So that's my drill driver. And I have also the impact driver. I bought them separately for some reason. Um, at the moment, uh, I didn't see myself um, getting both. So I ended up getting both anyways. And I bought them separately, which was it was not the smartest move because uh, together as a package deal, they would have cost less. But, you know, uh, the impact driver, uh, it does exactly what the name says. You know, if, uh, if you're screwing in a screw and it feels that impact from the, the screw holding still in the, in the wood, like getting stuck, it'll start uh, twisting on that impact and uh, kind of like hammering in each each twist that it does, like through the power of the drill, it'll keep uh, hammering in that nail, even if it like sticks. Um, it, and it, with the drill driver, the other driver that I have, I believe it has a blowout. So if you actually go all the way into the screw and it stops, it'll just blow out, it, it won't twist the rest of the way. I'm not sure, I think that's how it works, but the impact drive is uh, the better tool, in my, in my opinion. So, have one of those. And the final tool I have is the circular saw, Dewalt. Um, I use it for, uh, well obviously I use it for cutting wood, but you know, I've been trying to do little things around the house. You know, I haven't really got any um, framing experience. So if I could get like an apprenticeship or something like that, that'd be great. But uh, other than that, that's my uh, whole collection of tools. It's my tool bag tour. You got to see my tool bag tour, my tools. And uh, I think that's the end of the video. So uh, guys, if you like the video, please hit like. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. Please subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber and uh, hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos of me and until next time guys, later.